So guys, since Teveron did not um, include a manual on how to configure the TFT display um, on the manual, it's just a description on the settings. But you know, there's no specific on how to set your um, settings on your on your scooter. So in this video, um, we're going to show you how to con how to set up your your scooter so um, this is the TFT and I mean this is the NFC NFC key um, to power on your scooter you just need to tap here so you can barely hear the sound um, for power off it's um, two beeps then power on two beeps so, it's power on this is the power on this is the uh, M or menu settings plus and minus so once the power on um, we got our blade ready for fully charged so this is the main display this is the percentage the voltage the clock the rear and front motor and this is the status so in here um, this is our cruise control or cruise settings and this is our gear so by default this is first gear so going to menu just press click this one two times tap tap then it will go into our settings so inside the settings we have brightness we have unit system since we are you know we're using kilometers here in the Philippines so we choose metric um, auto off um, if you're not using our scooter then it will the, the display will power off in 10 minutes we have the clock we have the start password the default password by the way is um, four zeros uh, that's zero 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 information advanced settings factory settings if you want if you want to reset our dashboard and the wheel size the voltage and of course exit so first we're going to go to the brightness so by setting by setting our bright brightness uh, we can choose from one um, from one is the dimmest and the highest is five so we'll just go on three because that suits our you know uh, and just to save a little bit of battery we use metric systems we have imperial we have metric so we're since we're used to you know on kilometers so we're going to use metric auto off um, 10 minutes that's enough for us clock um, this is by the way this is in, um, on 24 hours settings so that we cannot set it to like 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. so that's why it's on 15 27 start password so if we're going to click that one it will give us Please input password. So since it's still on default, so that's four zero. Click, just click menu to press OK. Okay, I believe we already changed it. Sorry for that. Right. So our password we already changed our password to nine zero 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 by the but the default is zero 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 zero. So we can start our password off or on but since we have an nfc key enabled so it doesn't make sense if we're going to set a password to start up our scooter so we'll just use the nfc key instead all right so we'll go exit to to change your password just choose reset password and like so uh, let's use the default password zero zero Alright, so default password now is zero zero. So information. This is our average speed. Um, I don't know if this is accurate since our average, our average speed already we go up up to like sixty five kilometers per hour. Um, but yeah, so you cannot change this since this is just information. So we have average speed, we have max speed, we have trip, um, like two hundred eight. Mm -hmm. 0.3 kilometers odo 208.3 kilometers so basically the same we have the trip and odometer we have the hardware version which is 2.3 and software version is 
2.0.1 and going back to I mean going to factory settings so we can opt to you know delete all the data like for example if we're going unlike the motors unlike the scooter by the way unlike motorcycles and cars um, the odometer will even if you're going to have it like if you're going to reset everything um, the odometer will stay right but in, in our scooter if we're going to choose all the little data that means it, it's going back to zero so we'll let choose that one and the wheel size so the wheel size that's our current wheel right now the 16, 16 inches but this is also to calibrate your speedometer so if you have like mine I have here a GPS so I already calibrated so my, my speedometer and I the 11 inches um, wheel size is accurate accurate based on the GPS reading so no need to change but if ever there are you know error like five kilometer per hour error or plus minus you can change the wheel size to calibrate based on the GPS reading right so let's turn this off now so voltage see so voltage um, I get confirmation from our our supplier from our vendor from Alpha Lifestyle that you know you can upgrade your scooter your blade GT scooter to 72 volts without changing the controller since the controller can already um, set to 72 volts so here based on our voltage we have 72 volts we have 48 volts and we have 60 volts so that means our controller um, can set um, you know can can have a battery with 48 volts or we had 60 volts that's what we have right now 30 60 volts 30 age or if you want to upgrade our battery we'll just change our battery without changing our controller because we can set our controller to have a 72 volts right See. so let's go back to 66 volts so the advanced settings so the advanced settings is very important um, this is the settings uh, for you to set your um, riding style so going going to advanced settings just click M and the default password is 2112 all right so here the speed speed limit so let's have that 100% our speed limit cruise I set up my cruise to manual because um, like there are some cases that we're going we're, we're doing a long ride but uh, it sores our thumb it's painful on our thumb if we keep on pressing this one your the accelerator so if like if a very straight road um, and no there's no traffic then we can we can engage our cruise manually so I choose um, manual so that enable our uh, we can have our ma cruise enabled by manual so automatic I don't suggest I don't recommend automatic um, I had an issue before like in a traffic um, I forgot the cruise is is enabled in auto and I'm supposed I was expecting that the, the scooter will slow down when I release the throttle but it did not because the, the cruise control is enabled in automatic so uh, the best choice is either to turn it off or put it on manual to engage your cruise manually this is the cruise um, icon so uh, press tr throttle and choose the desired speed that you want to engage the cruise then press the minus sign just hold it for two to three seconds and you can let go of the trigger or the throttle then you'll see that this is color green and it's remaining to 25 and to disengage the cruise manually just pull the lever or uh, add uh, just 
add a add a speed add a speed on your throttle so like so it, it will disengage a cruise brake disengage and I show you another way to di disengage a the cruise is again hold for two seconds then just the trigger see it will disengage So here we have ABS. So ABS, by the way, unlike motorcycles or cars uh, that they have these tiny holes on the rotor, this one this is an electronic ABS. So the, the ABS for our scooter uh, it does not really function the same as motorcycle that it has a, a, a mechanical you know sensor. So it. it it uses our engine or our hub um, to brake so uh, if you turn that on then um, I don't recommend it because um, the brake even if it's very slow uh, it's still engaging the ABS so regardless what your speed is, what, what what's your speed is it's engaging the ABS unlike unlike in a motorcycle or in a car that has a sensor for your um, rotation of your rotor um, it can it only engages if like it's a sudden brake but this one in our scooter even if we are very slow you know walking phase speed um, it's still engaging the ABS so I choose that to see about ABS on right so if you're going to As soon as we hit the brake, regardless how slow or how fast we are, the ABS will engage. See? So speed magnets leave it, leave that at it, as it is. We have 30, uh, 30 that is set to 30. And um, let's go later on the assist parameters. Export the assist parameters is the settings for your gear from gear 1 to gear 5. Right. So export, just have that know so that you, know, you can set your assist parameters. Tem temperature protection, we set the 220 degrees. I think that's the default settings. And uh, zero start, that means, you know, um, you know, we'll keep that as it is. Um, that's yes. Right. So we, we can set that on no, zero start or yes. So we'll start yes. Okay. So let's go to assist parameters. Assist parameters, this is your assist 1, that's your gear 1, assist 2, that's gear 2, um, so on so forth. So by default, assist 1, uh, we have uh, the limit, uh, speed limit of uh, 30%, 30, 30%. EABS, that's 1, F start is level 2, F start level 1. So um, by default, this is the F, the front, I mean. That's the F. F. Front start level is one. F. R start level level one as well. Uh, but however, we change that uh, because if we're going to set that to one, EBS one, F start one, R start one, it will take around five seconds for the wheel to you know to engage, and it doesn't make sense. Like if if the as it, gear one is too slow for us and we're not using any, the gear one then it, it doesn't make sense if to have gear one so might as well set our all our gears so that we can make use of all our gears so f current this was set to 10 and i changed it to 20 because as i said um doesn't make sense to set to uh we cannot reduce the gear so i'll be i'll be showing later um the the settings um if we're going to change that what's the performance so um, gear 2 I have here 45% um, I still um, I set to ABS to level 1 so e electronic ABS is very helpful um, especially it, in my place we have mountainous area if you if sometimes we climb 30 degrees 40 degrees so going downhill 
that e e EBS electronic EBS really helps you know um, as soon as you hit the brake the engine will help you um, slow down as well so in our F start we have level 2 same current we kind of like up the current to 25 uh, for to have a better power and gear 3 this is the most you know gear that we're using especially if we're driving in the city we have the speed limit of 60 abs is one as well f start 3 3 and current is 30 all right and four if like we want to have speed um you know we, we set our speed limit to 80 percent abs is still one f start four four and the current is 35 35 and this is where the power of our scooter comes in you know um going to four you know you can we can really feel the acceleration um but once we hit five this is where like you know if we want to have like that top speed which is sometimes it reaches to 85 90 kilometers per hour but um, we still set this EABS to level one um, if ever we, we want to climb to some hills and going downhill then sometimes we set this to level uh, three or level four to, to help us you know to assist us our on our braking um, F start is five F start is level five um, current we max out to 40 however uh, based on the settings um, I don't know if we can push this to to the limit which is I think we can push it to 60 uh, but I don't recommend it probably because the 60 is maybe this is configured to 72 volts battery but on based on our controller we can set um, our control our controller is on 35 to 40 uh, amps limit that's our limiter so our maximum limiter is 40 but I don't know why we can set this to go beyond 40 which is 60 um, I don't want to try it <laughs> I don't want to damage the, the my hub but yeah so that's our settings so going back to as I mentioned by default let's push put this in one just for an example one and current is let's go 15 right. so 15 exit 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 so gear one so i'm showing to you see it will take very slow four five kilometers yeah. so going back to the settings we're going to change the settings to Gear one, two, okay, two, and going back our settings to twenty, twenty, exit, exit, exit. So now we're going to try. See, so right now it, it it can go up to 20 kilometers per hour faster than the previous settings, which is which has the 10 amps limit limiter. And on our five gear, see, just yes, quick. That's 9902 kilometers per hour in gear 5.
Alright, so um, this is our total. total uh, by, by, by clicking M, this is your um, initial view, your your front and rear status of your of your hub. We have an error. We have, we don't have an error. We have the temperature 40, 41 degrees. We have current. We have status. Uh, by clicking M, we will we can view the total info, trip info, speed average, and max, and also our time that the scooter is on, 18 minutes. If you want to engage single motor, dual motor, just press M. If you can see here, this is your indicator that is it is running on dual motor. So press M. That's what that single motor. A single motor is on the back and press M again just hold it and dual motor so that's it that's it guys um, before riding your blade GT make sure to set your settings first based on your you know body profile um, and be, you know before anything else so that you will enjoy your ride this also you can you can power off your your scooter by pressing the power button or you can just tap the NFC key directly like so